shaking y'all so i'm here cooking in the kitchen right now i got some random person sitting um behind me but uh <laughs> yeah i'm making i'm making a uh rather healthy sandwich wrap about to throw it on the skillet I'm um, over here watching the uh, bullpen versus Queen of the Ring Civil War event. First battle up, KCJ versus Clone. I'm going to keep it a buck. I got to watch that battle over because the first round was choppy on the um, pay-per-view. So I didn't get to see the full round from KCJ. Um, I saw Clones. It was pretty strong, but Casey was cooking. Um, I saw some of the live feed comments, people saying 1-1. The second round, I thought Casey definitely got it. Um, the third round, it was one of those things where I felt like Casey... She could have like closed the show better, but she like it was like one of those third rounds that was beatable. She had some material, but at the same time, she finished kind of strong, but there was a lot of flat points. And same thing with Clone, like Clone, he hit her with the sex bars and shit like that. Some people think that's old, some people cool with it. I don't necessarily have a problem with it, um, depending on how you do it. But he did have one strong bar at the very end. Um, but he said, oh, nine, that Bush isn't good for you or some shit like that. It was like a George Bush, oh, nine, related to her pussy type of bar. That shit was pretty hard. The setup was crazy. Um, I'm going to give it 2-1 to clone off first watch. But I'm going to watch that uh, battle one more time before I put this out. See how my opinions might change or stay the same. 2-1 clone so far. Bullpins up 1-0 on Queen of the Ring, in my opinion, right now. Back to this, uh, back to this chef life with this mystery person in the background and all my vegetables. I eat good. That random chick is right into a pen pal in the back, but uh, I don't know who that girl is. But yeah, so <clears throat> second battle just dropped. Um, bull, well, not drop, but just went down. Bullpen versus Queen of the Ring, Shiva War. Uh, Riggs versus C3 on first watch. Um, I have Riggs 2 1. I feel as though obviously C3 dropped the ball in the third. I gave C3 the first round. She was really cooking. Kind of ripped him apart in the first. Second round. Um, she did her thing, but I, I felt as though Riggs uh, battled back pretty efficiently, and the crowd was sleeping on a lot of things that he said. Um, so I gave Riggs the second round, third round. If C3 had been able to finish uh, without any type of chokes or mess-ups or anything like that, she could have taken it. Riggs' third was good, but it was still beatable in a sense, but she dropped the ball, so Riggs 2-1. Um, I have bullpen up 2-0 off of the first two battles. That's only because, like I said, I didn't see uh, the inf the entire battle for Clone versus uh, KCJ. Um, but I'm going to watch that one again and see if my judgment differs. Um, some people in the comments section on Rap Grid, I can see you're saying 1-1, one, one, bullpen 1, queen of the ring 1. We'll see what happens to the rest of the event. Stay tuned. Yo, who's the pen pal, though? I got to find that out. Pen pal continues. Oh, my God. All right, so, uh, yeah, so, Pen Pal continues. So, Bonnie Godiva versus, uh, <laughs> funny, versus, uh, Sia Boy just concluded third battle of the, uh, Shiva War event. Oh, shit, my fault. Put the wire in the camera. Yo, that's hilarious. Uh, third battle of the Shiva War event. Um, I had Bonnie winning 2-1. Um, I thought she was cooking in the first. Saya's second was wild funny. He was kind of, he was just straight roasting her life. The second was was dope. She she had some shit too, but like his material for me was more standout. And uh, the third round, his, his round was kind of light. And then Bonnie just kind of kicked it off and just went off. So Queen of the Wing, uh, Queen of the Ring got one. And Bonnie pretty much got her revenge versus Sia Boy from when they battled on Gladiator School. So uh, my count right now, 2-1, bullpen. But that's an unofficial 2-1 because, like I said, I got to watch KCJ versus Clone again. They about to do a 20-minute break. On to the next. All right, so now I'm slumped out. In the bed, man. Got the itis and shit. That food was good. Yeah, 40 bars versus PC just concluded. Personal opinion, man. Forty was going for the three-zero cook, like all the way a thousand percent body. She choked at the end. She still won the battle. I guess you would say two-one now. Um, but she was on her way for like the ill zip him up thirty piece. But uh, 
she dropped the ball on herself on just, you know, getting a, a body with that choke at the end. But good battle. PC was pretty funny. Pretty funny. Um, I like his style. It was a nice little style clash. But in terms of bars, like, there was no way he was out barring her. So 40 bars did what she had to do, even with the choke. All right, bullpen versus queen of the ring, Shiva War, event number one. Um, this is a little bit more of a detailed recap and me speaking more in depth after watching a few of the battles a second time, a couple of the ones that I was a little, a little indecisive on. Um, Casey J versus Clone. I know I said before, my last video I was messing around with uh, Shorty and everything um, while she was writing to her pen pal, but I didn't get to see the full battle. The stream kind of got choppy and cut off on me. On second watch, I remember I had it 2-1 for, for Clone. Um, without seeing the full battle before. Second watch, actually like third watch, real talk. <clears throat> that battle is one of those debatables where you could say 2-1 either way. And this time, the last time I watched it, I did edge it 2-1 for Casey. Um, the first and the second round, I edged it to her for consistency uh, and punch impact. Um, third round I gave to a clone. He had a third round, like both of the third rounds is way better. Um, than what I said before. I know I was I was kind of like busy cooking and shit and, you know, kind of joking around the side, so I wasn't 100% tuned in. Both of the third rounds were pretty solid. She had a mean Aaron Hernandez bar to close it out. And clones, uh, George Bush, the pussy no, the, the Bush no good for niggas, that, that bar was crazy. Um, but he was spitting a lot of real shit in that, in that, uh, round, getting at it for alleged ghost writing and shit like that. Um, it was pretty dope. It was one of those rounds where it's you're not going to be watching for his material where it's like big oohs and ahs, but just more so like that Swave Seva, like that head nod, like, okay, I hear that, I hear that. But I, I gave it uh, KC 2-1, third round of clone. But like I said, I think that's very debatable. You could argue for both sides. Solid battle. Uh, Queen of the Ring one up. Also, with me saying 2-1 for KC, it tips the scales when I tallied up all the battles. Um, next up was C3 Riggs. Uh, I stand by saying 2-1 for Riggs. C3 started off pretty much, you know, on that veteran-ish, just kicking her joints, doing what C3 normally does. You know, C3's a problem. She's always been a problem, whether it's freestyle or whether it's written, whatever the case. She's often been a battler that could rise to the occasion, if not just straight wash you. Um, but this battle, I felt as though she tapered off after the first round. First round, I was like, this is looking kind of ugly. After that, I was just like, eh. She kind of fell off. She had the choke. Um, Riggs, in my opinion, had like a steady rise throughout the battle. And he said a good amount of stuff that was a lot more slept on um, live in the, in the venue. So uh, Riggs, he closed the show pretty well in his third. Riggs 2-1. Bonnie versus uh, Cyboy. I thought that, like I said, um, Bonnie took that. Uh, Bonnie 2-1, uh, first and the third. Second round from Cy, it was mad funny. And he was just just roasting her. Uh, I liked his approach for that round. Um, his, his material, though, overall, like when he wasn't cracking his jokes and shit like that, it wasn't bad, but it just wasn't anything that was, like, outstanding. Like, he didn't have one of those rounds where it's like, yo, there's no way she could win this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bonnie was a little more versatile. Her angles of attack, um, her setups, her punches and everything. Just more of the complete package. So I, I felt as though for that battle, it was, for me, it was pretty clear 2-1 Bonnie. And like I said before, she apparently got the revenge from battling Saya on Gladiator School. So with that being said, 2-1 um, for Queen of the Ring, Bonnie and Casey, and then uh, Riggs holding it down for a bullpen. PC and 40 bars, you know, that battle was pretty straightforward. I don't really got too much to say about it other than the fact that 40 bars was just doing what 40 does when 40's on her A-game. She was barring his life away. Um, PC has some good shit, you know what I'm saying? He's a different style, uh, slower rapping, um, 
and he has a lot of humor involved in his material. He's one of those dudes that you'll appreciate his material for not just being like savagely bar heavy, just punch, 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 but like he gives you um, different layers, different textures of lyricism. And like I said, different themes where it's like certain serious shit, certain gritty shit, and then just certain shit that's just mad funny. And he has some really good jokes. Um, but overall, like, bars over jokes, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes a person just wild funny and it's like, yo, bro, like, bars over jokes, but today it's jokes over bars. But for this, it was just not nah, something like, her punches, her bars are just too solid. Only thing was, like I said before, she choked in that third. So she uh, pretty much bodied herself from catching a body, in a sense. Uh, Solid 2-1, easy, but she could have had the 3-0, 3-0 plus potential, like, straight up body bag, if you want to be real. But 2-1, solid, 40 bars. So now you have 3-1 for Queen of the Ring. Well, we have the 2-1-2, two two. Farah and Shuni versus Loso and Street Hymns. Farah and Shuni, um, for me, I felt as though they lost the battle pretty convincingly. They didn't do necessarily bad or anything like that, but they were too one-dimensional in their performance style. Like it was, for me, they didn't need to like one person rap, another person rap, and then they like, like one person's rapping and then the other person will jump in and like finish the bar, or finish the setup or finish the final, like two lines together where they rap it in unison. That shit was kind of, I don't know why, it was kind of annoying. And it kind of at times threw off of the impact of like what they were trying to say. Maybe it's because one person is saying the words just a little bit faster than the other. So it's like you hear one person giving like the spoiler while the other person is trying to catch up. You know what I'm saying? It was it was like they try to be synchronized, but it wasn't as synchronized. They also had a couple little like stumbles and fumbles and stuff like that. Um and just angle wise they weren't as versatile like it was it was entertaining to watch don't get it twisted like don't get it fucked up that battle was super fun to watch um pharaoh was hilarious trying to you know tempt be a temptress or uh like like a siren so to speak in uh in like greek mythology towards um street hymns to have him like unclip her microphone and take the the microphone charger pack or whatever battery memory card thing off of her back like close to her ass pretty much and she would try to like bend over on him and shit that shit was funny um but when it comes to like lyrical content and shit like that and just like versatility with what they're trying to say like there was hands down no debating street hymns and low so just across the board from round like after round one i was watching i was like yeah it's over like i knew off of round one like lyrically no disrespect but the shorties weren't gonna match it up um it was just too, like I said, for me, they were just too, like, linear, too one-dimensional with their approach. I really like Street Hymn's, uh style and his wordplay, the parable shit out there. I think that's really fire. Um, I like they could combine Loso's imaginary gum bars with Street Hymn's, uh nerve bars and shit. I'm not really a fan of the imaginary gum bars. I'm going to keep it all the way honest. But the way they did it was cool. Um, I've never seen Loso so turned up before in a battle. Um... He was super energized uh, when battling the chicks and very uh, assertive with his like male dominance. Uh, this is our house, this is my house, my house and stuff like that. Maybe it's just, I can't really say that because I mean, he's battled obviously other dudes, DNA, XL, whatever the case, not from bullpen. So can't really say this, you know, when he has like a visitor coming onto the league, but that was just something I noticed that when the chicks was in front of him, he was very turned up. I don't know. It was a fun battle though, overall. And Street Hymns and Loso did they think. Straight like that. Straight like that. So now you have it with Loso and Street Hymns winning. In my book, I had it uh three two Queen of the Ring, uh Riggs and Loso and Street Hymns with the victories for Bullpen, and then Casey, uh Bonnie and Forty for the ladies. So E Heart and Bad News would have been the deciding factor if Bad news got the dub, it will be three up. Um, if E Heart got the dub, it will be four two for the ladies. My personal opinion, Bad News did his thing. It was a good battle both ways, but I felt as though E Heart was the clear winner. Uh, two one for that. Um, it was like a second round. She choked or whatever. 
Um, and News had some good material throughout, but just like punches and just consistency and the impact of her punches, E Heart, for my opinion, was just too steady with like, it's, she wasn't like linear. It wasn't just like, it's just here and it's just good. It's like every round her shit just, just elevates. Like you feel it. There were certain parts where, you know, it didn't have the same exact impact as every other bar, but for the most part, the shit she was saying, you're just like, damn, son, like, e Hard is a savage. Um, she did have that, you know, second round choke, so you had to throw that round away. Uh, Bad News did good, though. He did good, but it just, for me, it wasn't enough. So with that, I gave it to Hart. So I had the ladies, Queen of the Ring, beating the home team 4-2. to two. Um, Before this, I had it 3 up. Because I had given it to Chrome versus KCJ, so I had it an even draw. But right now I have it four two Queen of the Ring. I think that those numbers can can vary. Uh, me personally, like I said, I think Chrome versus KCJ. You can argue that two one either way. So with that being said, my verdict is four two Queen of the Ring or three up draw. Overall, it's a fun event, fun battle event. Um, when you see guys versus girls. The battles are entertaining and they don't have that like crazy tension to the point where you feel like sometimes uneasy, like damn son, this is about to turn into a hands a hands type of match. Um, so it, it was overall just a fun event. I would like to see more in the future, Queen of the Ring versus uh, Bullprint or just League versus League in general. It doesn't have to be the same two leagues. I would personally really like to see Bullpen versus uh, RBE. I think that would be super, super fire. Um, we'll see what happens in the future, though.